At the same time, add a little decor to your home, whether it's a kitchen, a pantry, a bathroom. We've got lots of ideas for you. It's a three-tiered storage market bask system. The stand is awesome. It's all really, really well built. It stands about, oh, about 47 and a half inches in the height. Three individual baskets. You can take the baskets off and use them on the counter like that. If you want to adjust the height of your stand, you can do that. Maybe just use two in the bathroom or you know, use all the, the other shelves on the countertop. They come right off just like you saw in the video. And I do want to share with you the color choices. I have a basket similar to this in my kitchen. I keep all of my produce, like my onions and my potatoes and some fresh fruits and things like that. So tons of ways to apply this into your life. Here's your teal option. Great, nice, heavy duty metal. We've got the white and it's kind of an antique white. It's a distressed white. I really love this choice. Uh, this one is called bronze and this too has more of a distressed. It almost shows through a little bit of copper. And then we've got this in the silver on the opposite side. It almost looks like a stainless steel. The item here is 555095. Price break and flex pay. Um, where do you need a little bit more help with organization? Our BFF at your home is here to help us out, Alexandra Baker. Good afternoon. Hello, my darling. You look stunning. You look well, thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Uh, you're so sweet. And we can hear that thunder rolling, right? It's so coming. let's hope <laughs> that we're good. <laughs> but you know what? I get so excited when oh, I can diapers. share with you. Yes, diaper. Cute. If your grandma or, you know, the, the grandkids are coming over, but you're not necessarily looking to put a nursery in your home, <laughs> you could even use them to hold diapers and some idea. of the extra items that you need for the little kiddos and the babies. But I get excited when we can share something with you from Storesmith that is so beautiful. I it's agree. function and beauty. I mean, they're really pretty and they're made of iron. So as Kelly mentioned, 47 and a half inches tall. Each basket is about 16 and a half inches inches in width, you know, long. And what's wonderful is that each basket, this is a little stand I've set up uh, for the pets. Each basket comes off. So you can remove each basket. You can use them individually if you want to. And as Callie mentioned, you are able, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Look at how heavy, Callie, I've got some, some uh, spaghetti jars in here, some, some sauce jars. And you know, that would be quite heavy. You can see that. So easily removes you just lift this up, just like that. Let me see. Let I me think I read up. that each one will hold a certain amount of weight. A certain amount of weight. They really hold weight. Now, you could use them individually just like this, or you can even modify the stand. So the stand, fully assembled, will hold three baskets. But if you want to, it comes with this darling little Allen wrench. I love when something comes with the tools, so I don't have to ask or look for any tools of anyone else. I love that you think the Allen wrench is darling. A, a darling <laughs> Allen wrench? I mean, I could bling it out if you wanted. <laughs> to, or paint it pink or, you know, put some rhinestones on it, but right? I like that it's small. And then I'm able to just remove this. And if I needed to make this a two-tier, look at this, this is really, nice. I could make this a two-tier, cool. you get the point, or I could even make it one tier. So totally customizable. You can use the baskets tabletop. You can use them on the counters, yeah, whatever you like. Yeah, they've got a solid bottom. Uh, you know, a lot of times things like this are good in theory, but they aren't functional because they're not strong enough. Right. These are metal baskets. These are metal. A metal stand. It's not like corrugated cardboard. You can tell, I think, through the video, but I just wanted to point out it will hold quite a bit. Books. How about video games? How about remote controls? How about the magazines? All the things that, you know, things tend to get so cluttered in our homes when there's so much activity. And it's nice to have a place for what you go and, and use and look forward to. When it's there, you know where it is. When you know where it is. And, you know, as an organization expert, one of the things that I always teach, an organizational expert, I feel like I said that so quickly, <laughs> is that everything in your home has a place. If you want yep. to talk about decluttering and being yep. organized, it's nice when everything has a place. However, it's also nice when some of your favorite items, mm -hmm. do you collect linens, vintage linens? I asked, that's so weird. You would ask me that. How would you know I, that? I think we've had me. a conversation about pre preserving items yeah. and reimagining things. And yeah. I'm addicted to that. So I love not only to dye them, and but oh. I also want to display them and use them. I'm not afraid to use them. So I love my vintage li linens. Linens, and I'll put them, look at how pretty to have your linens, to have that lovely 
you know, napkin that's someone so intimate, they're going to use this, but you can have them displayed. Maybe you have some mercury glass jars. What did I do? putting all of the spaghetti sauces and the pastas, and you mentioned having that fresh produce. We've got mm -hmm, some today. onions. Looks mm -hmm. like I'm gonna be making you know, some sauce with the peppers. And last but not least, we talk about our fur babies, and we recently brought home, well, it was actually you August, did. Queen Elizabeth. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh my gosh. Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Sophia Baker. <laughs> and uh, she's precious. They have a lot of gear. <laughs> I mean, I thought I had a lot of they accessories. Do. She has pet, <laughs> she has pet bedding. She has her toys. Uh, you know, an amount of biscuits and things for her teeth, you know, her bowl, and of course, the leash, you wanna have that readily available. So you could have one just for your fur baby. Oh, isn't that the truth? Right? I mean, maybe you keep one of these like close to the entrance way, and if you've got multiple kids, like book bags or, you know, school books, or, you know, each person has their own place, because then, you know, everybody's responsible. Everybody's responsible and like push things away. I an item like this that you can use in so many different ways in your life. You know, you don't even have to know right now. Because look at how pretty it is. Like you said, it's home decor, but it's functional. It looks really expensive. This looks like something that you would find at one of those restoration type mm -hmm. of stores. Or you sincerely, you know, you are lucky enough to go to that big antique store, uh, not antique show that they hold annually in Paris. I was talking to a couple of our buyers that had the opportunity to attend. That is like a dream come true. This is the type of item that I am sure our buyers saw the genuine article, and this is probably the reinterpretation Possibly. of a solid iron market basket. Well, some of them do look antique -y, particularly the bronze and the antiqued white. There's like a distressing, I don't know if we like can... Like a patina finish. If yeah. you come in close, you can see, can you see that, that? Does, like a brushed bronze, but this color, it is bronze. And it here. does have that brushed bronze feel, yeah, almost same. like a patina. And you can look down into the basket. Look at this. It looks oh, like yeah. somebody added like a little bit of the black washing on there. Isn't that really that? pretty? Very, very pretty. Yeah, so it has the detailed look, yes. The other one that is distressed like that is the antique white. Same thing here. The silver or the stainless steel look I love. And then, of course, if you are a fan of, you know, some a hit of color, we've got this teal. I'll correct? take the pasta. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm serving a lot of people today. So, it looks like right? <laughs> No, I, I tell you what, I have something very similar to this in my kitchen, and it stores just all my fresh produce, my onions, the things that don't need refrigeration, like pepper, well, onions and potatoes and different things. But when I do go to the market and get all the fresh fruits. I love the way it looks in my kitchen it's too. It's so pretty. Yes, they truly are God's creation and they're so good for us. And so you want to load up, especially if you're going to be juicing or, or, or something oh, like that. Speaking of which, we have a dash vacuum blender coming up next vacuum hour. Vacuum blender? Yeah, it vacuums out all the oxygen. Oh. So like if you make a smoothie, it doesn't look like disgusting and brown and gross in okay. three hours. Okay. Stick around. I, I, I will because next hour. Lord knows I need a little something healthy today, right? Even <laughs> avocado because it takes the oxygen out. So it doesn't go I've brown I've never heard gross. of that, so I am going to stick around and Take yeah. It doesn't look like I'm leaving the building anytime soon, I know. right? You know? Right? We are hunkered down. Thanks for your calls and orders again. So, uh, stainless, bronze, antique, white, and the teal. The item for you here is 555095. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Next hour, speaking of which.